Today, we'll be comparing AWS Amplify to Google Firebase. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. So when you have to decide on which platform you're going to run your app, there are some key advantages and some downsides for every single uh, platform there are on the market. And today, we're going to compare these two. So here I have this table that shows uh, every single uh, comparison point between the two platforms, and we're going to go through that. So as you can see, AWS Amplify relies on an open source framework while Google uses proprietary technology. So in my uh, humble opinion, it's better to rely on an open source framework because you can know what the code does and you can trust that code. Then we have the uh, parent company. So AWS Amplify is backed by Amazon and uh, Google Firebase is backed by Google. Both are huge companies, both have uh, lots of history, so we can trust those companies. Then uh, we have something very interesting that uh, the API calls on Amplify can be done through REST API calls or through GraphQL. And on Google's Firebase, only through REST API calls. Then we have the database. Uh, AWS Amplify relies on DynamoDB, which is the AWS proprietary database, while Google uses the Firestore NoSQL database. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, which one you choose, but those are totally different uh, animals, so you have to choose wisely. Then uh, there are the platforms they support. They both support most mobile platforms, so you can deliver your app to both of them and have very good SDKs to go along with it. Then we have storage. The uh, storage is made on S3, which is the uh, AWS uh, buckets where you can store all kinds of uh, files. And on Google, it's on Google Cloud Storage. Uh, the learning curve for both are very low, so it's very too easy uh, to understand and to use the framework. And you use a pay-as-you-go uh, pricing strategy on both platforms. Here on Backfrap, we have all those benefits, but we have a much more predictable uh, pricing strategy. So you can know beforehand how much you're going to spend. And if you have a limit or a threshold, you want to uh, never pass that limit, uh, we can ensure that for you. And both of those platforms can go uh, infinitely uh, expensive depending on the resources that you use, or at some point they can even block your uh, services because you're spending too much. So we believe a different price strategy is much more uh, convenient for uh, you and users. Also, we rely on open source uh, SDKs and all, all, all our stack is fully open source so you can know exactly what the code does. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. Also, share this video with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave it on the comment sections down below. We always answer all the questions. See you soon. Bye-bye.